I'm Wali Javed. I'm professor of medicine and hospital epidemiologist and director of infection prevention and control for Mount Sinai downtown. And who should get the booster shot? So CDC has been increasing uh, the population or adding to the population who can receive the, uh, the booster shot. And that has been um, pretty much approved for a majority of people in US uh, above 18 years of age uh, will be qualified to get uh, getting uh, the booster dose uh, after six months of their uh, Pfizer Moderna dose and or two months after their J&J dose. Who are eligible to get the booster shot um, right now? Uh, based on the recent FDA guidance that uh, that uh, uh, regard that is regarding the boosters, uh, anybody who is 18 and above is eligible to get uh, booster doses from uh, Pfizer and Moderna. Uh, and this includes everybody in the United States. And what's the difference between a booster shot and a third shot? Based on, based on how it has been defined, uh, initially we got approval for the third shots. Uh, third shot was uh, considered as like part of the original series. So for, you get first dose, second dose, and third dose for people who are immunocompromised. And those were considered very high risk. The boosters are now being considered and given to almost everybody in US. And, uh, and this is kind of the more uh, commonly used word for these medic uh, for these shots as booster shots for everybody who has had who has spent certain amount of time uh, uh, since their second dose of uh, their vaccines uh, they now get a boost with the shot of the vaccine uh, and that kind of helps them uh, helps them boost their immune system protect themselves from uh, the infection and when should people get the booster shot so it, it depends on the what initial dose they receive. If they receive Pfizer or Moderna, the ones we call as mRNA vaccines, they uh, they should get their booster shots as six months after their first uh, uh, their uh, their uh, first two doses of Moderna or Pfizer. And in case of Johnson and Johnson, the recommendation is to get the booster shot uh, two months after the the first shot. So that's kind of uh, uh, the current recommendation from CDC. Uh, the booster shots have not been mandated at this time. They are not part of uh, the requirement of being considered fully vaccinated, but they're highly encouraged, uh, especially in people who are at higher risk of acquiring COVID, who have other comorbidities, who work in uh, high, high risk industries, or who otherwise have generally any other risk that they consider they're traveling, people who might have to interact with others, and or even if they feel un, uh, unsafe uh, in terms of acquiring COVID, they can always uh, get the booster shot. Does it matter which booster shot I get? So the, the most recent recommendation from FDA and then CDC is, is that we can actually use these medication interchangeably. And they have not found one is, is uh, better than the other. We see a lot of reports uh, uh, that uh, say one might be better or the other, but uh, in, in practicality right now, uh, these all are considered equal. What if I got the J&J &J shot? So people who have received jo Johnson & Johnson Jensen vaccine, uh, they can still get uh, a booster from the Johnson & Johnson uh, as a second dose and or they can get uh, Pfizer and or Moderna dose as a booster for the initial dose. What about side effects? Do they get worse or should I expect the same reaction? So I received my booster. I had pretty much the same reaction as my second dose. Uh, people around me who have received their second dose uh, have experienced very mild or very similar reactions as their second dose. Nothing really uh, that stood out uh, and or has has come out in uh, in literature or even in our internal reporting that suggests that uh, the boosters have any different reactions than first or the second dose of the vaccine. Is there anyone who should not get the booster shot? 
the person, the only person who probably should not get the booster dose, booster shot is who have had reactions to the COVID vaccines already. Those are exceedingly small number. And uh, we are talking about severe allergic reactions to all the three different types of the COVID vaccines. That would be unusual. I've not heard of anybody who has reacted to all three, uh, three types of vaccines. And the, the, the reason to, to, to add the booster is also to minimize these uh, chances of not being able to get the second dose or third dose uh, is that these vaccines are slightly different, especially Moderna, Moderna and Pfizer versus Johnson & Johnson is technically different vaccines. So you can get boosted from a different vaccine. Uh, so there would be very, very small number of people uh, that would react to all three. I have COVID or I've had COVID-19 and two doses of the vaccine. Should I get a booster shot? People who have had COVID uh, and, and got their two doses of uh, vaccine, they can certainly get their booster shot. Um, and it, it, there does seem to be a lot of questions about, oh, I had COVID, should I just get one dose or two dose or get the booster dose? Uh, should I do all these things or not? Um, what we have seen, for the data shared by CDC and other agencies, what we have seen is uh, people, even after getting COVID, when, when they get their vaccine, even after getting COVID, or if they get their booster, even after getting COVID, it seems like they get more protected than people who, uh, who were just infected and never got uh, the secondary doses of the vaccine. So it does seem like the protection is higher for people who get uh, boosted uh, with the booster dose. Is there any new research on how safe and effective the booster shot is? Um, the research is ongoing on these uh, on these medications, but there's uh, uh, there. Th and there's more data available for these vaccines than a lot of other vaccines that we've been taking for, for a very, very long time. There is no recent research showing that the booster uh, is any, any way more dangerous than the first or secondary shots in people 18 and over. And uh, the, the studies coming out, uh, out of Israel, studies that uh, CDC shares, does not seem like there is any additional risk uh, with the boosters. And lastly, is there anything else that patients and consumers should know about this topic? I think it's very, very important to consider your risks discuss with your primary provider and uh, consider getting the booster, especially if you're gonna interact with families over the holiday seasons and or if you, if you have any other high risk situation, definitely consider booster as an option to protect yourself and your loved ones around yourself. Uh, I encourage everybody to reach out to their providers or reach out to Mount Sinai for any advice we can provide.